Your uh, fourth point is that big data and the uh, computing power, you know, might be bad for value as well. What did you mean by that? Yeah, the example I used in the article was I used the example of Walmart. Uh, let's say our value strategy is really like Walmart right now. But let's say also hedge funds have more data than your traditional fundamentals. So let's say hedge funds have, you know, satellite pictures of Walmart's parking lot or hedge funds have credit card data that tells me, you know, how much is money is being charged at Walmart. The, the, our ability to rely on that historical data to determine if Walmart is actually cheap may be reduced because I may not have the full picture using historical fundamental data. I may not know that those parking lots are empty or I may not know that those credit card charges are down. And by the time I do know that, it might be too late. And so what I was getting at is big data could make relying on the historical fundamentals to determine what is a value stock more difficult than it has been in the past. Mm -hmm. So these all these alternative data sets that have come online, you know, there is a lot more of them out there. And I think, you know, I think folks like Patrick O'Shaughnessy and others have talked about, you know, investors having an edge in terms of the data that they have. And I think what your, your point is, is that, you know, the edge that, uh, you know, that edge may be getting um, eroded m more quickly because of this, you know, new type of data that's out there and that's obtainable by some firms that are able to integrate it into their investment process. But the flip side is that everybody is getting this data. So if I, if I sell the satellite data, I'm not going to go sell it to one firm. I'm going to sell right. it to everybody who will buy it. And so quickly that, that stuff probably mm -hmm. becomes priced in the stock. Mm -hmm. And when I, when I interviewed Tobias Karloff for our blog, he made the argument that, and, and it's a good argument, is that all that stuff, you know, the whole reason we're investing in these value stocks is that there's a lot of bad news out there. The, the price has been unfairly depressed. So all this is is probably more bad news that's priced in at the same time. So we expect that there's a bunch of problems with these value stocks, and the parking lots being empty at Walmart is just one of those other problems you would pile in with all the other ones. Right. And so it, it may not, you know, degrade our ability to use historical fundamental data, but it's. It, I think it's important to look at because whenever you have – other people have information that you might not have. You have to consider how, how is that impacting your investment strategy. Mm -hmm. 